Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and today I want to talk about the Call of Duty franchise for a little bit. Where it's going, where I hope it's going, where I think it's going to end up heading. So Call of Duty itself, very very popular game and people over the years have kind of gotten tired of it a little bit. They've always been saying this game needs innovation. Every single Call of Duty game is the same as the last one. That's what a lot of people end up saying. Well I've always been on the opposite end of that. I've never thought that Call of Duty was the same thing every year. Of course it still feels like Call of Duty and still stays true to the idea of Call of Duty. But at the exact same time, it plays different. It's a lot different every single year. Look at some of the past games. Look at Modern Warfare 2 and how that game played and what you did in that game versus how Modern Warfare 3 played. There's a big difference there. You look at the original Black Ops versus Black Ops 2. You look at Call of Duty 4 versus Advanced Warfare. Of course, it's very, very different every single year in terms of the kill streaks and the maps and the guns and the unlock system and the Cray class system and different kind of things you can do with like they add in support streaks and they add in a bunch of different stuff, right? It's a lot different every single year, but at the exact same time, they've always managed to make the game still feel as though it was a Call of Duty game, which to me was a plus. It was awesome. I loved that. And Advanced Warfare was the first time they really tried to innovate outside of that normal Call of Duty formula. Of course, we had the idea of exosuits, and in my opinion, the biggest innovation that they actually brought to the game was the idea of supply drops. I think supply drops is one of the coolest things that we've ever seen in Call of Duty, and I hope it's in every Call of Duty game going forward, because what it's done is effectively added a looting system into the Call of Duty franchise, which is going to change up how people want to play the game so you look at call of duty and its progress system over the over the years it's always been about prestiging ever since call of duty 4 when they first implemented creative classes and prestiging and things like that that's been the end game of call of duty that's what you do in the call of duty multiplayer you make it up to max rank in the game whatever that may be it could be rank 50 could be rank 55 could be rank 65 could be rank 70 whatever it is in that game you make it up to max rank you unlock all the things there is to unlock in the game and then you prestige and do it all over again you're in a constant state of progress which makes people want to continue to play Call of Duty because you're in this constant state of progress. There's always something to continue to work towards. You're going to try to get back up to rank 30 so you can unlock your favorite gun. You're going to try and make up to rank 45 so you can unlock your favorite kill streak. That kind of idea, right? And over the years, they've made it so it's a little bit easier to do that kind of thing. Like when you prestige, you get benefits for prestiging. Uh, the first benefit you got for prestiging was actually back in World of War where you would actually unlock every two prestiges, I believe it was, you would unlock an extra creative class slot. And so by the time you end up hitting 10th prestige in that game, like the maximum, maximum rank in the game, you were actually able to have 10 create class slots compared to other people which would only have five six seven eight something like that right so that was something that really give you a little bit of an incentive but as well as you always had the incentive of continuing the progress you want to continue leveling up and of course over the years they added even more benefits and just create classes some games like black ops 2 and i think quality ghost had this i know advanced warfare does where when you prestige you can bring something along with you right you can bring along with you your favorite gun your favorite kill streak your favorite exo ability whatever it is right so you you can still prestige and still be in that state of progress but still bring some of your favorite favorite things because nothing's worse than like let's say your favorite gun is one of the guns you unlock at the very end of your prestige like let's say for example you like the exo trophy system you use that in all your classes you use it every single game it would be really annoying to have to re-level up to be able to acquire that just before you prestige and only be able to use it for a little bit right so if you're a big fan of exo trophy system you can of course take it with you the next time you prestige and have it on all your classes all the time until the end of time right so that's definitely kind of a nice thing and that's what they've always really kind of done with it but i feel as though they could expand upon that because other games come out and of course they're always trying to the top Call of Duty, they're always trying to compete a little bit because Call of Duty is like the big dog. Of course, Counter Strike and Battlefield are very popular games, but I've always felt as though Call of Duty was the big dog. And so, what uh, some of these other games do is they add in like a looting style system. They add in other ways to keep you interested because you can't go, you know, toe to toe with Call of Duty and the only progress system in your game is the, like the idea of a prestiging system. Why would people want to do that as compared to prestiging in Call of Duty? If they want to invest a ton of time into a game, why would they not invest it into the game they already like, not this brand new game that's just came out that they may or may not actually like so they add in this loot system right a lot of these games add different kinds of looting systems free to loot which constantly makes you feel like you're being rewarded and i feel so called the advanced warfare also does that another thing a lot of other games do is you add in the idea of daily challenges which advanced warfare has also done that as well but i feel so it could be improved a little bit you look at the idea that you have a supply drop challenge which honestly i haven't even done any of my supply drop challenges just because for the most part my supply drops don't give me really anything i want and two it's always something random like go get 20 kills with a sniper rifle while playing uplink it's like what I don't use snipers. Two, I don't play uplink. You know, I don't want to go ahead and do that. If it's something simple, like use an SMG in Domination, or use a shotgun in Team Deathmatch, or something like that. I don't know. Something like that I would actually play. Of course, I would probably do that challenge, but for the most part, I always get these really kind of random challenges. So, the idea of supply drops in the future of Call of Duty, I feel as though that's another thing that Call of Duty could add to it that's going to
to continue to make people the want to play the game. It's going to make people continue to play, and that's the big thing. I think a lot of people kind of forget about that. They think that Call of Duty themselves is all they really care about is the idea of getting a bunch of sales off of release and, of course, around Christmas. But Call of Duty themselves, they make a ton of money off of DLC. And how you sell DLC is by having people being very vested in your game, continuing to log in once a week, twice a week, three times a week, every single day, best case scenario. They want people to continue to play their game and have a vested interest in playing because if they have that vested interest, of course, they're going to end up spending more money on the game via microtransaction camos or different kinds of microtransaction exosuits, things like that. Of course, best case scenario for them, you buy the season pass, you buy the, all the map packs, you buy the exozombie maps, you buy all that kind of stuff. And if you're vested in the game, that's fine, but that's their job. Their job as a quality developer is to try and get you to purchase these things and how they're going to do it is trying to make the game as fun as humanly possible and make you enjoy it the most. And what I think they can do to improve that is they're going to add this idea of supply drops into every Call of Duty game going forward because it's a looting system, right? It's very, very fun to have that. You have the idea that every time you, I believe this is how it works, I believe you get a supply drop every 45 minutes of in-game time that you play. And so every 45 minutes you're getting this new supply drop and from there you can get a bunch of different weapons. And just how cool that is, the fact that there's so many freaking weapons in Advanced Warfare, so many different variants, and they change how their weapon looks. Every single one of them has like a different custom skin on it. And of course, they all have different kind of quirks. Some of them have attachments put on them. It's really kind of interesting. And I don't know about you guys, but it's something I never really thought would ever be in the Call of Duty franchise. I never even considered it as a possibility. I think it's a really, really cool thing that going forward is really going to serve the Call of Duty franchise well. And I hope that Treyarch's paying attention to it and that it'll be put into the next Treyarch game. I'm hoping Infinity Ward's paying attention to this. So a couple years from now, when Infinity Ward puts out their new game, that it would also be a feature in that game as well. I'm hoping for all of that because I definitely think it would be pretty awesome. So that's why I feel so the future of the Call of Duty franchise is going to be like. I feel as though we may actually have a lot more things implemented into the game that's going to want, make us want to continue to play, which of course is a good thing. If it's something that's going to make you continue to want to play the game, then of course you're going to probably be going to enjoy the game a little bit more as a result of that, right? So every day, if you go in there and there's multiple supply drop challenges or different kinds of things for you to do, if there are so many weapons in the game in terms of just variations, which is pretty cool, and honestly, it's very, very clever by Sledgehammer because I don't feel as though it could be a ton of work for them, to be honest. Like, you think of, you take a weapon, you take the MP11, right? And then you change around the skin a little bit, and then you up the fire rate on it a little bit, but you take away a little bit of its accuracy, bam, you have a weapon variant. And you just have to do that a bunch. You just, you just mess around with a bunch of the different uh, stats on the gun, and then you have weapon variants. Of course, the big job, I guess, is on the art department who has, has to actually put together all the different kinds of uh, skins for these weapons. But still, it's a really, really cool system. I think it's an awesome system that Advanced Warfare has implemented here, and I would love to see it be implemented in the future. So what I've done is I've actually made a straw poll for you guys down there in the video description. And I just want you guys to go vote. Nothing really is going to happen with it. I just want you guys to go and vote on there. Of course, you guys know what a straw poll is. It's just a polling site. You go there, you click the link, it'll take you over there. You can vote as to whether or not you like supply drops, whether or not you don't like supply drops, and whether or not you would like to see them actually uh, implemented in the future Call of Duty games. I think this is one of those things that really could stick with Call of Duty, because I've heard a lot of people say that exosuits are alright. They like exosuits, but they wouldn't like to see them in the next Call of Duty game, whereas I've heard a lot of people say that they love supply drops and would love to see supply drops featured in the next Call of Duty games. So be sure to go ahead and vote on that, and of course, let me know in the comment section below what you guys feel as though the Call of Duty franchise is going to be doing in the future. My idea for the Call of Duty franchise, what they're going to be changing, of course, every single year is going to be different, the kill streaks and the maps and the guns and the story and the theme, all that's going to be changing every uh, game the game like it has been forever, but I feel as though in the future, you know, we think of the next Treyarch game and we think of the next Infinity War game, I feel as though things like supply drops are going to be implemented, I feel as though there's going to be a lot more daily kind of challenges that you can go in there, little rewards, you go in there, stuff that is going to make you want to sign in every single day. You're going to go in there like, oh, dude, I just got to hop on Call of Duty for like half an hour so I can go ahead and complete this challenge because if I do that, I have a really cool shot at this at this awesome reward. I feel so we're going to have a lot more reward-based things in the Call of Duty franchise in the future. Let me know your opinion on that. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.